We've got to listen to young people. Young people are screaming loud. The time to take positive change is now. You know, so an event like this, where we're actually changing education for young people, listening to what they want, is exciting. You know, we, we now have, you know, they're launching a GCSE for natural history. Wow, how I wish I could have had that at this age, at, you know, when I, at GCSE age. And I think so many young people want to work in a, in a career that they really care about. And you and me, and we meet people all day, every day, who just, that's, that's what they care about. They want to protect the planet for their future. So we're cheering that on, championing it, and are proud to stand beside young people saying, listen to us. So you mentioned you wish you could have taken the course yourself. How do you think that would have impacted your own journey and your own career choices? I struggled a lot in education because I wasn't so interested in They didn't feel relevant, you know. Uh, I don't meet many kids who aren't interested in natural history, you know, because you take kids outside and it's like, wow, this is amazing. So I think so much of education needs to adapt to do stuff that is not only relevant, but is also inspiring for people. And, you know, we, we run a thing called Becoming X, which is all about empowering young people with skills for life, you know, the things demystifying success, giving them tools that are actually going to help them. And I think education needs this. It's just learning formulaic stuff doesn't empower people. It doesn't inspire young people. You know, we, we have to adapt. So things like you know, natural history, GCSE, brilliant. Things like becoming ex-education, brilliant. Anything that's going to help young people in a super competitive, anxiety-ridden age and world to be able to get ahead and to feel lighter and empowered is a good thing.